because of coronavirus, there's no more hand sanitizers out there. So what are we gonna do? Make them. Make them, we're gonna make our own, right? If you're nice. Do you know what's happening right now with coronavirus? No. Yeah? What's happening? It's going in your hand. Yeah, so if we touch surfaces, we can get coronavirus or even other viruses or other bacteria, germs, all those things we can get on our hands, right? So what do we do? At home, how do we clean our hands? With soap. With soap and water. And or uh, hand sanitizer. Yeah, we can wash, we can clean our hands with hand sanitizer. If we're out somewhere, let's say we're at a park or we're at the mall, what do we do? Wash your hands. We use hand sanitizers. But you know what's going on right now? Because of coronavirus, there's no more hand sanitizers out there. Everybody's bought all the hand sanitizers and there's no more in the stores. So what are we gonna do? Make them. Make them, we're gonna make our own, right? So guys, you know what? We have two different formulas to make hand sanitizer. One is from the World Health Organization, so we're gonna use that recipe. And another one we found from CBS. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah! All right. So first, we have IPA, so this is called IPA or isopropyl alcohol. What we're going to do first is we're going to measure out two cups of the isopropyl alcohol. Okay. Good girl. Okay, Hadzi, we need one more. Whoa. Good job. Okay, so we put two cups of isopropyl alcohol in there. Now we need two tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide. Did that burn your skin? No, that doesn't burn. Good girl. How much do we need? We need two tablespoons. You did one tablespoon already, and here's the next tablespoon. Pour it in. Good girl. Okay, so guys, now we're gonna do two teaspoons of 98% glycerol, okay? Hold it straight. Okay, one more. Fill it up to the top. Good girl. That burn your spoon? No. So we're gonna add the water. It's 170 milliliters of distilled water. So when I'm storing it, you pour it. Make sure it's sterile distilled water, or it could be boiled cold water. Okay, so add that in. So then what we do is we get spray bottles like this, and we have to sanitize them. So we already poured alcohol in there, and we let the alcohol dry out, and that cleans out the inside of the bottle. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna pour the, this into your bottles. <laughs> okay, Daddy, can you pour it in for Abby? Abby. Hold it, Abby. Hold the go. bottle. Hold the bottle. There we go. Good. Put the top on. I'm going to screw it on. Is it All good? right. Yeah. Okay, let's fill up hot sauce. There we go. Good. Now you got a full bottle of hand sanitizer. I feel nice. Do you want to put that on your bottle? Yeah. What does that say on it? Happy. <laughs> it says hand sanitizer on it. <laughs> Good job. You guys made hand sanitizer. Good job. Yeah. Mine better. No, mine better. Mine better. I like both of yours. You know what? Why? Both of yours kill all the germs, so I'm good with that. So when are you guys gonna use the hand sanitizer? When are you gonna use it? When we go somewhere, and after, when mom said to wash her hands, and there's no wash, I can use my hand sanitizer. That's true, when, when I say wash your hands and there's no washroom, you can use hand sanitizer. Are you guys ready for the next recipe? Yeah! <laughs> you guys wanna make more hand sanitizer? Yeah! You guys wanna kill more germs? Yeah! <laughs> so this one, you need aloe vera, I'm gonna post the uh, the link below so everybody can can have access to the recipe. It's a it's a it's like a moisturizer, yeah. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use aloe vera to make hand sanitizer. Okay. Yeah, so do you remember Hudson when you were asking me? You said, "Mommy, when we buy hand sanitizer in stores, they're thicker, right? Because the the one that you were already made was a very liquidy one. So we're gonna make a thicker one, okay?" So what we're gonna do is we're going to measure out the rubbing alcohol or the isopropyl alcohol again. So we need one and one third cup. We'll fill up that cup. Oh, that's so good. We'll be nice and careful. Good, good job. Give me five. Good job. So now we're going to add two thirds cup of aloe vera gel. All the way to the top? Yep. All the way to the top, yep. 
Mom, look how big this scoop. Wow. Oh, you are filling that right up. Good girl, Abby. All right, I think that looks pretty full now. What do you think? One more. Okay, do you want to add that? Oh my gosh. Good job. Is it almost full? No. No, a little bit more to go? Okay. No, a lot more. A lot more to go. I think there's there's just a little bit more room that's left. It, that's it, that's Okay, Abby, can you stir that? Yes. It's like green potion. It does look like green potion. Do you want all of that aloe vera, all of that gel to, to dissolve? Okay, so now, guys, we're gonna add a little bit of lavender. This is lavender essential oil. Smell it, tell me what it smells like. I smell lavender. Why do you think we added? it? it smells good. Yeah, because right now it just smells like alcohol, right? So when we add that, it smells nicer. Just a few drops. Yeah, good, good job. That's good. So now that's the tea tree oil, so let's add that to it. Okay, up and down, good. Is that all dissolved now? Yeah! <laughs> yes, now we can pour it into bottles. Two bottles here. Okay, to hold it and we'll pour okay, it. Here you go. Okay, you ready? Abby? It's upside down. That's okay. <laughs> so daddy's gonna pour that in. Good. Okay, you want to pump it into your hand? Is it good? Yeah. Can I try it? Yeah. Give me some. Let's try it. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's softer on your hands. It feels really nice. Good. Let me try it out my hand a little bit. It dries out your hand a little bit? Yeah. That's okay. That's, you know what? It's killing all the germs on your hands. No, I'm germ free. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video.